I've never seen anything like it before. I hope I don't see it again. It's hard for Andrew Watson to see his business underwater. Every day that we're not working, it's more and more of a loss. Andrew showed us around his shop today where it is still a mess. But then down in the metal shops where it got really bad, I mean, we had about 30 inches of water down here. Three years after starting built, Andrew is afraid this is it, easily losing more than $100,000 in this flood. The more you look, the more it sinks in, and it was, it was pretty startling. His four employees haven't worked since Saturday, but that doesn't matter to this owner. I'm going to pay them. I mean, I have two guys with brand new babies, um, so they're getting paid. I'm not, I'll do whatever it takes at this point to keep to keep the guys paid, to keep them employed. He admits he needs support to rebuild. Without people helping us, there there is no more built. <laughs> you know, there's, um, which is scary. I'm just trying to go like shoot for the moon and then see what yeah, all we can get. Cool. People like Jenny Armstrong are doing what they can. She will host a benefit later this month to help build. We just thought that if we ever had an issue, just kind of like a karma thing, you want to help each other. Andrew is hoping this you caring website will bring more help. And that's what's going to keep us afloat until we can afford to get new machinery and start working again. And uh, without that, I don't know what we would do.